I came up with this idea. Why not make a lasagna with eggplant? Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living, a whole food plant-based lifestyle. I'm not to the level where I can make my own tomato sauce, so I'm going to use Prego Italian sauce traditional. I'm going to pour the bottom la layer. Like this. So nice. And I'm going to lay on here a layer of eggplant. Nice if it fit perfectly, but oh well. Like that. Then I'm going to use some of my. This is squash that was made with the vegetti. And I'm going to lay it on top in between the eggplant. Then I'm going to use some herb de Provence. Looks like this. And I'm going to apply a little bit of it. It has a nice earthy smell. Let's see, it contains Basil, rosemary, marjoram, sage, thymine, lavender. Just kind of give it a little covering. Then I'm going to add a little, some of the strings from the vegetti, give it a little some color. Then I'm going to add another layer over this of the sauce. And then I'm going to put another layer of the eggplant. So you know, it's almost like a lasagna. I'm laying layers upon layers of eggplant sauce and vegetables. Here's some more squash. We're just going to do this till we have the entire dish full. Okay, so what we're doing is we're going to set the bake. It's at 350 degrees and we're going to press the start the oven. So we have these onions. What I'm doing is I'm going to use this as a garnish on top of the dish when it comes out of the oven. What I'm doing now is I'm using a paring knife and I'm cutting this, the rest of this squash into very thin pieces. And then I'm going to, when the dish is almost finished, the last 10 minutes of it, I'm going to lay this on top as a kind of like a topping. See, it's going to look very pretty. So we'll have a mixture of onions and we'll have this small little pieces of squash, of zucchini squash to finish the topping. Like all knives, you have to be careful not to cut yourself. We don't waste any vegetables. All right, I'll show it to you when it goes in the oven. I decided that since I was waiting for the stove to get warm, I would give it a little bit more color to the top of this casserole. Using the vegetti, I'll use this piece, or that little piece there. You can make nice, now this is on the fine threading, long spaghetti like strings, but made of carrots, can give it a very nice looking top on it. I use the other carrot on the larger setting. You 
you see how it's coming out? You have much thicker, or you could say that the spaghetti strands are wider. And this is going to give me that special effect that I'm looking for at the top of the casserole. Okay, oven's at uh, 314 degrees, we're almost there. I'm going to put this on top. We're going to wait for this. Okay, I'm just putting a, a, a thin layer of herb de Provence to just prepare the top for cooking. So the oven's at 350. Roll dish and we stick it in the center. Close the door. I just pulled it out of the oven. And we're going to test to see if this is cooked. The fork goes all the way through. Close the oven. Turn it off. So that's what it looks like after 60 minutes at 350 degrees. So we're going to let it cool for a few minutes, put it on a plate and taste it. Now it's been a few minutes. Here's the eggplant. with the strings of carrot and, and squash. The addition of the onions make it look a little prettier when you're serving it up. And these are just a little bit of squash. Thank you for watching this video.